Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, my dear students. Madam Ruby here again, logging in for lesson 50, Faraday's Law. Today, we are going to define the first law of Faraday and its quantitative application. Faraday's law of electrolysis gives the relationship between the amount of material liberated at the electrode, how many mass that is formed at the electrode, and how much of the electrical energy that is passed through the electrolyte. That is what Faraday's law is all about. Faraday's law states that the mass of any substance that is formed at an electrode during electrolysis is directly proportional to the quantity of electricity that is passed through the electrolyte. The quantity of electric charge is given by Q equals to IT. I'm sure you have learned this in physics, whereby Q is the electric charge in coulombs, I is the current in amperes, and T is the time in seconds. One coulomb is the quantity of electrical charge passing any point in the circuit in one second when the current is one ampere. Therefore, one coulomb is equal to one ampere times one second and the quantity of charge carried by one mole of electron is referred as one Faraday F. So 1F is basically equals to 6.023 times 10 to the power of 23 times 1.602 times 10 to the power of negative 19. So finally, we're going to get 96,500 wow. coulomb. The greater the number of moles of electrons transferred, the greater the mass of the products. Let's do an example 2.6, read the question and understand it together. An aqua solution of copper 2 nitrate was electrolyzed using a current of 1.5 amperes for 60 minutes at 25 degrees Celsius and 1 atm. This shows that it is at standard condition and 60 minutes is times 60 becomes 3600 minutes, uh, seconds. Now, you have to calculate the mass of copper that is deposited at the cathode and the volume of gas evolved at the anode. So, what yeah. should we do to answer this kind of question? Okay, how do we solve this problem? First, Q equals to IT. I is 1.5 times 3,600 Okay, so that is 5,400 coulomb, right? So, um, if uh, 96,500 coulomb is having 1 Faraday, um, 5,400 coulomb, okay, you divide it, uh, divide um, 5,400 with... Uh, uh, divide 5400 with 96500, you're going to get 0 0.056 Faraday. Okay, so uh, 1 Faraday is um, involved with 1 mole of electron. Therefore, if we have 0 0.056 Faraday, it is um, involved with 0 0.056 moles of electron. So the species that is being um, um, uh, accumulated at cathode would be copper, the mass of copper. And then the species that would be attracted to anode would be water. So if water is attracted, therefore oxygen gas will be produced. So that is what we are going to calculate, the mass of copper and also the volume of O2. Right. So what is going on here? We are going to look first at the cathode and copper solid here involves two moles of electron. 
for two mole of electron here, it is involved with 0.056 moles of electron. There are two moles. Okay. So, two mole electron um, produce one mole of copper. But for 0.056 mole of electron, okay, divide by half here because one over two, okay, one over two times 0.056, this is 0.025, sorry, 0.028 mole of copper. And this is uh, multiplied by the molar mass of copper, we are going to get 1.778 grams of copper. So that is how much uh, mass of uh, cuprum uh, accumulated at the cathode electron. Next, we are going to look at the equation that happens at anode. So at anode, this is the equation as we have shown in lesson 49. 2H2O liquid is going to be attracted to anode. So what is going to be produced is 4H plus aquas and O2 gas. So it involves 4 electrons. So like just what we did previously, here it is 4 electrons. This is 4 electrons. So 4 mole of electron will produce 1 mole of oxygen gas. So what we have from the calculation of Coulomb and Faraday, there will be 0.056 mole of electron. So this is quarter of 0.056. Quarter of 0.056. And then we're going to get 0.014 mole of oxygen gas. Now, we're going to use ideal gas equation. Please remember chapter 2 last semester. Or we can just use molar volume. Multiply by 24. Can. So, we are going to get 0 0.343 liters. This uh, step, all of the steps will give you as much as 8 marks if it is a structured or essay question. Please make sure that you know how to use Faraday's law to calculate the mass of product or the volume of product formed from the electrolysis. Okay, for practice 2.5, you are going to find the charge of the platinum iron in the salt. And you are given the mass of the platinum metal deposited at cathode. Uh, given Q equals to IT and also mass. So you have to um, use the same method and then uh, going to the middle so that you can get platinum. Is it 2 plus? Is it 3 plus? Is it 4 plus? Uh, so try do this first and then we'll do a discussion uh, through the video or in the tutorial group. Question 2 is a straightforward question. You need to find the mass of copper deposited at cathode for the electrolysis of copper sulfate using the current of 0.15 ampere for 5 hours. So this is straightforward. Maybe you can do question 2 first before going to question um, 1. Uh, the answer is in your course book. Question 3. How much calcium will be produced in an electrolytic cell of molten calcium chloride if a current of 0.452 amperes is passed through the cell for 1.5 hours? So you can also do the, this question first before you do question number 1. It is straightforward. What mass of aluminium will be deposited if a current of 1.5 ampere is passed through aluminium oxide? Dissolve in molten cryolite for 40 minutes. This is also a straightforward question. You should do it before doing question number one. Silver can be plated out of a solution containing argentum plus iron. How much time in minutes would it take to plate 12 grams of silver using a current of 3 amperes? So this is a bit tricky because you need to find the time. 
So if it's not specific in minutes, you can use seconds or hours. But this question, it is specifically asked for you to write the time in minutes. So it is in C's for you to use minutes as the unit. So um, find the Q by uh, coming from uh, 12 gram, find the number of mole, find the uh, Faraday, find the equation and so on. Okay. Come from the um, below, from the end of the um, um, process. And finally, a technician is splitting a fouché with 0 0.86 grams of chromium from an electrolytic bath containing aquas chromate sulfate. If 12.5 minutes is allowed for the plating, what current is needed? So just now we find uh, time, now we're going to find current. So uh, it, it's using the same kind of process, going from down to up. All right, that's all for um, Faraday's Law. And this is actually the end of Chapter 2. Thank you very much for watching and paying attention. Please make sure that you get everything covered for electrochemistry for, of this subject. Alhamdulillah. I'll see you again soon. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye.